is my session, so if you've seen the slides you probably know what it is about, if you haven't you may not, but it's a strange title, but the session is actually going to look at demystifying cryptic crosswords. So, before I start, actually this will scupper the whole session, do you do cryptic crosswords? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so the rest of you, do you know how a cryptic crossword clue is generally made up and constructed? Do you know how generally? Okay. Yeah. All right, I guess it all right. Do you do? We no, don't. Do I would. I was hoping, I tested this in the office, and out of three people who were in there, none of them could do cryptic crosswords, so I thought, there might be one person in the group, but hopefully everybody else won't be able to. My brain doesn't work that way. It might have to this. <laughs> be surprised, because it does actually demystify um, when you've had it explained to you. So the learning outcome of this session is to demonstrate that you can actually interpret different kinds of cryptic clues. There's lots of different types of cryptic clues. So for the purpose of this session and the time, and also for my knowledge as well, I'm going to stick to the five sort of most commonly used ones and some of the easiest to identify as well. So the construction of a cryptic clue typically, not always, is made up like this. So you've got the clue in the middle that you're working with. You just, need, you just need to take it out and plug it in, otherwise it won't work. Oh, oh I won't bother. It's alright, yeah. Um, so you've got the clue there in the middle. And then at either side, these are interchangeable, you will have an indicator that tells you what to do with the clue and the definition of, which is basically the answer. So that's typical. It, so you'll see it's not always the case that they're made up like that. So that could be a cryptic clue. So bear in mind what I've said. Can anybody work out perhaps what the answer would be? It's a very simple one. I know you know, so you can't say. <laughs> um, when you understand it, it, it is very simple. Any ideas? No. You want to say anything? Is it end? Yes, it is end. Yes. So, we have a look. You've got the three elements there. So, the clue that you're working with is Ned. Oh, the indicator, okay. yeah, you see, it does okay. demystify it. The yeah. indicator says off, which is an indicator word saying it's an anagram. And then the definition is finished, so it's end. And it's like having a veil lifted, isn't it, when you understand how they work. I'm still not that good at them, I have to say, even though I can understand them a bit more. Um, so, yeah, the answer's there. So for anagrams then, they're the sort of clue that if I'm trying to do a cryptic crossword, I would look for first because they're the ones that I find the easiest. And the sort of indicators you've got, these are just a few. Off is really um, commonly used. Rewrite, badly out, damaged, order, disordered. Any word that suggests out of order, basically. So I actually cheated and I put this, my answer into um, an anagram creator to get an anagram, and I quite like that one because it was proper words, so I picked that one out. So I've made it into a clue, so disorganised is indicating that um, you've got an anagram in there somewhere, and then the answer is completed puzzles. And to help you, obviously, you've got the number of letters, 7, 10, so what would that be, going with the theme of the presentation? There's crosswords. Yeah. yeah. So what am I talking about? What sort of crosswords? Yeah, <laughs> and it's yeah cryptic crosswords. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're the puzzles. Yeah, that's quite a long one, but I thought I love that. It's my time track quite like that. Um, another type of clue are what they call hidden answers. So this means the word is actually in the clue, um, and again, you've got the the definition there somewhere. So these are the sort of words that will be used to indicate it is a hidden answer. I find these a bit hard. They should be easy, but I quite often miss the indicators for these. But again, once you know, you know, it sort of opens your eyes. So if you have a look at that one, um, I've tried to pick fairly easy ones, but then I suppose if you've done a few, <laughs> they perhaps look easier. Can you work out maybe what that might be? Bearing in mind, the definition is there as well in the clue. What's the four in the back itself? Oh, that's the number of letters. Oh, of the, okay. Yeah, that, the number of letters of the answer. Sorry, yes, I should have explained that. Yeah. 
So four of those letters are going to run together to make a word. <laughs> I don't have the brain cells for this particular thing. That's so. okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, so it's saying portion of, so it's part of. The answer is consumes, eats. Whoops. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So these, actually, I think these are quite hard. Homophones, so words that sound, they're spelled differently but sound the same. Um, again, indicators, the most commonly used one is sounds like here is used quite a lot. And you've got her, seems such as not a couple of the other words. So this one, um, in a way, you've got two definitions, but by having the number of letters, that should help you work out what the right answer is. So the we here there is telling you it's a homophone. So we're we looking for something then that sounds like one of those other words. Yeah, fruit two. Goes into the ground. Yes, so it's a word that okay. is a fruit and also okay. means put in the ground. But it's not an anagram. No. Oh, okay. It sounds like. It sounds the same. Okay. Okay. Um, no, it's not. No, that, that's the thing with cryptic crosswords. You, you have to try and get away from associating the fruit with putting in the ground. Do, do you so know the ground might be the way it plays? Yeah, that's another word. Well, not ground, but, but something that's if you put something in the ground, you bury it. Yes. So fruit. Bury. Yes, but spelled differently. Sound the same, very and very. E E R R Y. Yeah. Is that the answer? It is. Now sometimes if the if the two words have got the same number of letters, until you've done part of the crossword, you don't know which is the right answer. But because right. okay. that berry okay. is four letters and the answer is five, you know yeah. it's the fruit berry in yeah. that instance. Oh, so when it says sounds oh, like, it doesn't mean sounds like as in rhymes with, it means it. No, it the same sounds word. the same. Sometimes it sounds almost the same, it might be a slight difference, but basically if you say it, it sounds the same, but spelled differently. Oh, okay. yeah. So on from homophones, we've got synonyms. And again, initially these look quite easy, but I, th I think these are quite tricky. So usually it's a two part clue. Like that, often just two words. Um, this two part is obviously a group of lines, is a phrase, and then the word. So they mean the same. So tarry and rope. I think that's quite a hard one. I'll put that in just to stretch you. <laughs> that one's slightly easier, I think, that clue. Very short. And this is um, <clears throat> an example where there is no indicator. The whole clue is, is just the clue. So the two words mean the same thing. So. Perhaps try, I think that, that, you might get that one, but I think that one is quite hard. I just wanted to give an example of a two-word one. That one's slightly easier. That one's pride. Yes, pride. yeah. But the yeah. one. Yeah. Sometimes you find yourself mm -hmm. disagreeing with the compiler of their definitions. I, I'm not sure. Shall I tell you what that one is? Yeah. It, the, the answer, because I got this out of the crossword book, is actually stay. No, I think tarry is. Stare. Stay. Stay, yeah, so rope and tarry. Currently, stay, which they sort of do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so sometimes you get a bit cross with the compilers. <laughs> no, don't quite agree with that. Um, oh, and then the last one I'm going to sort of talk about today is just a whole cryptic clue, and I find these the hardest um, because you just have to break the clue down, look at it bit by bit and just come up with an answer, and I, I do think they're quite hard. This one is relatively easy. Um, you have a look at that, see if you can perhaps work out what that is. If not, I can explain what it is. You can see there's no real sort of indicators in that, as I've talked about before. Is it then soon? It is, yes. Do you know why? <laughs> okay, follow means ensue. Yeah. Plants are east and north. Yes. That's the end. Yeah. Made by little Susan is Sue. Yeah. And actually, the follow 
also means that um, the points are followed by little Susan. So Sue comes yeah. after. Um, yeah, points is often points of the compass, so north, south, east, or west. Yeah, and there are other types of clues as well, but obviously there's not time to go into that. I think too much will be overkill as well. So I thought, I don't know how long we've got to and what time we started, but I have compiled, what's that answers? Five minutes. We've got five minutes. I have compiled a short crossword, see how you get on. If you want to work in pairs that's fine, oh, maybe although that's certainly <laughs> <laughs> um, So perhaps just spend, I don't know, maybe two or three minutes having a look at it. But, oh. <laughs> I haven't used any other different types of clues. There's only one purely cryptic clue in that. All the others are made up of the different sorts of clues. So if you want to use the PowerPoint, that will remind you of how, what to look for with the indicators as well. Have a quick go and then I can put the answers up and if there's any that you want explaining, um, any answers explaining, I can do that. Or if you prefer not to see the answers and want to take it away, I can take a vote on that. Um. I won't be able to do this at the same time as recording. <laughs> I have tr trouble doing this as it is. Can I put this down? Yes, because yep. I'm not doing anything now. It's over to you. So I don't know if you want to do Tony Rowan or if you want to do anything. I don't mind. I'm doing it. I'm not going to be very. You might surprise yourself. I'm oh, demystified from that. I'm so proud. You might be surprised. I still can't do them. Yeah. I know um, what to look for, but I'm still not ever sure. I still, I still, I'm, I'm still doing you. Look at the question and know what, whether it's which one it relates to. Yeah. So it's usually I can do with the handout, but we might have one. Yes, I've given yeah. all a handout. Um, I've got one at hand if you should be able to see my handout. Right. <coughs> Oh well, that's that's what you have to look at and try and work. Oh, is that part? Of the that's part. Yeah, <laughs> this is part of the difficulty. Yeah. Well, if you look at um, look at number ten across. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we were looking at. Oh right. Yeah, that one I would say is fairly obvious as to what the indicator is. For me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Look at number seven. That's one of the words that I've put up as an indicator. That's in there. I don't know if if the indicator for number 10 is an example I gave. Number 7 is... <coughs> you know, sorry, if it's got five, five. If it's five letters a lot, yes. say for example and it's one that... It's Okay, so should we just stick with that? Angry. <laughs> but I have 
for her and Lindsay said that was I wrote. So <laughs> oh, it's okay, work yeah, out, like, working out how it could be that. Do you know, my husband and I, we make quite a good team with these because he can spot what the sort of clue is, but he doesn't have the vocabulary always. And he <laughs> say to me, is that a word? And I'll say, yes, it means such and such. And then we sort of work together. So he's worked it out and I've confirmed that yes, he's right. So one rate is a type of Yeah. And it's the, it's in there. It's the word. It's actually in the clue. It's one of those hidden ones. As in it's an anagram? No, 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 no. It's could be. It's a word. Could be. It's a word. 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 I mean, it is yeah, isn't. yeah, no, but actually, angry could be an anagram indicator, but it's not in this case. I haven't thought about that, so that could be confusing. But no, it's, it's the sum that's the indicator. So for that one, it's not actually at the end. They do that. That's why I said typically, but not always. Right. What well, is that format? So the indicator sounds like it's not the which one? Right, no, so not number nine. So some ten. Is the indicator <coughs> which is indicated to include some hidden mm. answers. Well it might be hard to see down to mine. Mm. <laughs> right. Could you explain that? Yeah. Uh, is my time running out? Yeah. yeah would you like me to put the answers up then and yes. go through them? Yeah, thank like you. It would. <laughs> <laughs> Did, oh, that's the activity up there. Okay. Okay, did you? No, we didn't. Oh, that's all right. Did you manage to finish yours? So? Uh, no, I've got two more. Oh. That's about you, Helen. Do you have more? Even, no. Um, Lindsay helped me do two and then I stuck into the door. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, two across, that is the pure cryptic one. And basically, new arrivals is your baby. Um, you tend to babysit at night. You're watching, so sit. I find those the hardest. Mm -hmm. I find those quite difficult. So, for one thing, sit. The, that, you probably recognise that was a synonym, but maybe not got the answer. It's a double, so you have a double drink, an identical double. Here's. So that would be a homophone. So team side, S I D E, sound of despondent side. I'll give you the answer so you can take them away if you want to have a look mm. um, in your own time. <laughs> or you might just want to throw it away. This one, it's got a sum in it, so um, that's a hidden clue. Very often, the hidden clues, the indicator is actually in the middle of the clue because of just the nature of. You know the grammatical makeup of the sentence because um, you couldn't really have those sort of indicators at the beginning or the end. So it's Aries, sign of zodiac. Where's that? Aries. And then angry. I think that's the one that everybody did get at the end after listening. <laughs> so um, angry is the definition. Sum is the indicator again that it's in the clue. So you've got irate down there. <coughs> so. Okay, one down, that's an anagram, so it's used the word badly to indicate that something's out of order. So it's an anagram of as fed phase. Three down is um, another hidden one, so you've, you say it's the clues found, so it's found in the um, clue. So it's atlas, which means map book, another word for map book. Four down, um, develop, that's the indicator. So again, it's telling you that the words are out of order, so it's an anagram for turtles, for large marine reptiles. And six, I quite like this. Um, herb waits for no man, time waits for no man. From the sound of it, again, it's a homophone, so time and time. And then eight down. That's another sort of hidden clue that it's got from, so it's a Roma. Which were the two you didn't get, Lindsay? Um, babysit oh, and yeah. side. Oh, right, yes, yeah. Yeah, babysit was, uh, certainly for me, I think they're the hardest. But there are harder clues, and there are ones where you take the initial letters and things like that, you know, there's lots of different types of clues, so I'll just stick with the basics.
So, I don't know whether that spurred you on to try cryptic crosswords or whether it's put you off for life, I don't know. But if you see one, you might recognise a few clues, like anagrams, things like that, open your eyes a little bit. So hopefully it has demystified them to a certain extent. Any questions? Or you just want to forget the whole experience? What? what? <laughs> Can you think of any crosswords that would be good for beginners to have a go at? Because I know things like The Guardian, early on in the week, are I don't know about simple ones. I mean, you can buy crossword books, so there might be some in those that are simpler. I, I think what's I mean, there are crossword books to help you as well. That's what I oh. used um, to actually explain clues. To um, but I think just doing them and looking at the answers to see. So those where you struggled, I mean, even then sometimes it's still hard to work out mm. how they right and um, got to the answer. And compilers change as well, so I don't know whether there are any simple ones. Um, I think finding a book, I mean, we've got that at home, and that takes you through the different steps. And compared to some of the newspaper ones, they are relatively easy, but they're still not easy. But they've got the answers, so you, and they will explain yeah. them. So that's probably a good way yeah. at the beginning that's as right. well. Thank and you can also cheat by going on to um, crossword solvers yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, in Google as well if you're really stuck with answers. Well done! Thank you. Thank you.